Caitlin Yugalik Phillips, The Future of Feeling, Building Empathy in a Tech-Obsessed World Step into the engaging world of The Future of Feeling, Building Empathy in a Tech-Obsessed World, where author Caitlin Yugalik Phillips navigates the complex landscape of empathy in the digital age. Delve into the nuances of cognitive and effective empathy, and explore the fascinating ways in which technology might be both hampering and fostering human connection. This journey will introduce you to the roles of virtual reality, social media, and innovative tools, as well as discussions on communication, compassion, and the future of empathy education. Prepare to immerse yourself in a thought-provoking experience that will leave you pondering the essence of empathy and its significance in our rapidly evolving, tech-infused world. Understanding Empathy Empathy can be intellectual or emotional. It is the ability to understand the mental state of others. People who are empathetic handle stress better and are more emotionally expressive. In contrast to compassion, empathy involves sharing the emotion with others. Screens and digital technology may affect empathy, although it is difficult to measure. Young people, growing up with digital technology, may develop better digital communication skills, but this can lead to a lack of substance in their communication. Empathy is crucial for human connection, and it sets us apart from animals and machines. The Negative Effects of Screen Time The rise in screen time is contributing to a decrease in empathy. College students in 2010 showed 40% less empathy than their peers in 1979. Sherry Tickle compares this to Rachel Carson's Silent Spring. Social media interactions lack nuance, body language, and context. Instead, they often become battlegrounds for insults and attacks. This is causing a decrease in genuine communication. Empathy in Technology As technology increasingly dominates our lives, experts explore the role of empathy in the digital world. A growing movement believes that the same technology that created empathy problems could solve them. The Internet's connectivity initially allowed for exhilarating conversations, but it also enabled harassment and abuse. The creators of the next generation of tech have a unique opportunity to change this trajectory, with empathy as the key. Teachers, futurists, engineers, social scientists, journalists, and others are working towards a more empathetic digital world. The Gaming of Conversations The rise of social media has transformed conversations into a game, where winning is more important than learning or listening. This has led to a surge in trolling, public shaming, and doxing, resulting in an increase in national polarization. People forget the humanity of the other participants, viewing them as adversaries, which rarely changes their minds. In response, tools like algorithms and apps are being developed to promote empathy in civil conversations. According to author Celeste Headley, tech is not the problem, it is a tool. The internet has become a laboratory for a new form of communication where people's behavior towards each other is constantly being studied. The Conversations with People Who Hate Me podcast is one such example where participants agree to ground rules like being willing to listen and be vulnerable, leading to mutual respect for each other's point of view even when they disagree. Empathy and Technology Empathy education through apps and games is on the rise, but concerns about screen time and data misuse exist. Studies reveal that teaching empathy early on can make a difference in social behavior. While video games create a community, they don't replace real-life social experiences. Apps like Homes by TinyBop offer a solution by enabling virtual exploration of global homes to accelerate children's empathy learning curve. VR as an empathy machine Virtual reality, VR, and immersive technology can be used as a tool to increase empathy and awareness of social issues. Filmmaker Chris Milk's VR film Clouds over Sidra, which placed viewers in a Syrian refugee camp, inspired other advocates to create similar experiences to promote empathy. Studies found that VR increased empathy and created a greater probability of taking subsequent political or social action. 
However, users' responses to VR experiences were influenced by their attachment to the subject or their predisposition to an empathetic reaction. VR can be an effective tool for building connection and arousing empathy, but it is essential to use it purposefully. Immersive Journalism in Virtual Reality VR is a powerful tool for journalists to create immersive stories and evoke empathy. Nani de la Pena is a pioneer in the field, producing Hunger in LA and Project Syria which placed viewers in the midst of the story. However, concerns have been raised about manipulating audio and images for VR stories. Journalists must use VR judiciously to engage viewers without manipulating their emotions or exerting undue influence. Research shows that viewers retain the emotional memory of VR experiences, making it a valuable tool for storytelling. Empathy Training for Workplace Harassment The hashtag Time's Up and hashtag MeToo movements have brought to the forefront the issue of sexual harassment in the workplace. Many companies are required to train their employees on diversity and inclusion but these can be mundane. Empathy training is a more effective approach, with 20% of companies offering empathy training for their leaders. Companies like Translator use technology to simulate experiences faced by different groups of people. Although research on efficacy is limited, early studies by Paradigm and Google show it can help. It's time to focus on teaching empathy as a desirable workplace skill for combating harassment. Enhancing Empathy, Innovations in Healthcare Healthcare professionals sometimes struggle to balance their own stress and patients' needs, causing a decline in empathy during their training and beyond. However, research has established the correlation between empathy and successful patient outcomes. To address this issue, medical simulation products and virtual reality VR, programs, like Simpulse, offer teleempathy, which allows medical professionals to feel what their patients feel, enhancing their capacity for empathy. Wearable symptom transference technology is also being developed to add another level of immersive training. In addition to training, VR serves as a useful distraction for patients undergoing treatment and can positively impact social skills training for children with autism or offer patients a chance to visit scenic environments during dental work. Through these new innovations in healthcare, the future of medicine looks brighter with an increasing capacity for empathy and positive patient outcomes. Empathetic Tech in the Age of Digital Devices As parents become increasingly ensnared by digital devices, children lack models of empathy in social skills. Developer Vivian Ming created an app called Muse to suggest fun activities for parents and boost children's social and cognitive development. Therapeutic technologies like Digital Avatar Ellie are proving effective in assessing and helping veterans' psychological stress. In 2018, the Cambridge Analytica scandal and stories of abuse and exploitation of users' data sparked regulation and technology change. Gawain Morrison of Sensum believes a lack of diversity in tech creator teams may be responsible for AI reflecting the biases of its mostly white, male Silicon Valley makers. Developers are now working to make AI and technology more empathetic and inclusive. As we conclude our expedition into the realm of empathy in a tech-obsessed era, we find ourselves contemplating the double-edged sword that technology presents. On one hand, the rise of social media and screen time threatens the fabric of human connection and cognizant empathy. On the other hand, innovative minds are harnessing the power of technology to further empathy education, provide new empathetic experiences in the workplace, and reshape the ways in which we engage with one another. While acknowledging the challenges posed by the digital world, Caitlin Ugalik Phillips encourages us to envision empathy as the driving force behind the next generation of technology. With this newfound understanding, we can strive to create a more compassionate, empathetic, and connected future.